Hey guys, today we're going to be working on part two of the Altidore plot. Um, this is by far the easiest step that we're going to be working on for a little while anyway. Um, and we're just going to be collecting our telescope. Um, so most of the Altidore plot will be taking place in the observatory and we're going to be making a bunch of constellations basically. We're going to be finding constellations and that's how we fill up the book. So remember I said the billboard was going to be important. The only club that we can actually join is going to be the astronomy club. But I did want to show you the other club's dialogue because they're a little bit hilarious. So if we'll just go to any of the other clubs, it'll say, we don't have room for the likes of you. So yes, blue quiggles are racist or at the very least speciesist because I believe that it does acknowledge that we're humans. We don't have room for the likes of you. If you look at the flyer that seems to be advertising the engineering club. Um, let's see, we'll go to the next one. If you look at the flyer that's the bulletin board that seems to be advertising the mining club, join the mining club, provide you with your very own pick and shovel and show you to identify valuable gems. We don't have room for the likes of you. Oh dear, despite the flyer, despite the flyer, it seems that they aren't accepting members at this time. Oh dear, despite the flower, flyer, it seems they won't be accepting numbers this time. Anyway, so yes, blue quiggles are racist. I just need you to know that. Um, sorry, all you quiggle lovers. You have a racist pet. Anyway, so join the Astronomy Club, and you're going to be getting an easy C telescope. Um, the easy is sort of like a fake, a fake brand on Neopets. It's, um, it shows up for several items on Neopets. Anyway, so after that, we'll just go up to the Hall of Heroes and you can go up the staircase. And after that, we're just going to set up our telescope. And all you're going to do is you're just going to set up the telescope. Um, just click it. And at that point, it'll just load. It's really slow and laggy right now because we're about to get a storm over here. Anyway, so once you do that, you'll just be able to click around and most of it, most of the plot is going to be spent actually on this page trying to get the, the constellations all identified. Um, but yeah, so if you go back to the other characters, you'll see some dialogue change, but that's, but you've basically finished this step. The next step is we're going to have to find the sleeper and I'm not sure if I can do that on my tablet or if I'm going to have to switch to the computer. I will figure that out soon. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. It's pretty straightforward. The janitor says, hmm, you've joined the astronomy club. Eh, that sounds like fun. Wish I had time to join the club. If you finished cleaning the tower, if you just finished cleaning the tower, I think they would let you go. I think they let you do something else. Like just if you did your job, instead of standing in the corner, guarding a button, you might be able to get some time off work. If you just finished your work job, You've been standing there for nine, ten years. I believe in you, Mr. Janitor. Anyway, so then if you go to the archivist, it'll load. Anyway, so go to the archivist. The archivist says, see, join the astronomy club. What's more exciting than to be found than observing the heavens and mapping the intricate patterns of the cosmos? Anyway, yeah, and that's it. That's all there is to, the, to this section of the plot. Um, the next one is going to be the sleeper, and I'm going to need to do something to adjust that, and we'll figure that out soon. Anyway, so bye, guys.